So I decided instead of playing in the mud, well, guess what? It fits in the shop. Oh, yeah. So I've nailed it down to it's coming out between, like, you can't tighten the fitting on anymore. It looks like they brazed it together back in Ukraine in 1986 and looks like the brazing actually you can see a little bit of a hole there we'll put some JB weld on because I'm not going to try and weld that because they'll actually burn through it I'm sure pretty sure it's not high pressure like worst case it's whatever oil pressure is oil pressure is like 60 to 80 pounds tops when it's cold so 60 to 80 pounds JB Weld should hold that quite All right, we got all the resin and all that stuff. Now, we mix it up. Hmm. Boy, oh boy, I am out of practice. Just some hillbilly redneck from Northeast Berta that uh, is not good at doing stuff like this. Well, I think that's the fissively gobbed. We'll leave it sit like that. Let that set up till tomorrow. I'll leave these doors open, turn the heater off. Put this knife away for next time. Well, guess what? That's going to have to do. So, Bobo, we're going to go do a walk around the truck and trailer, do our pre-trip. Make sure everything's all up. Huh? Get all the blocks out. All the stuff up. Look how dirty it is. Yeah, look at all that dirty. All the mud. That's good. Closed. Yeah. Now we go on this side. Got all the blocks out. The legs are up. Yeah. We ready to go to Alberta? Yeah. Shall we? Oh, come here, Bobo. We're gonna turn the lights on. Okay. Yeah, we're going to just turn the trailer lights on for now. Yeah? Okay, these lights right here. Or, uh, go over there and turn the... Uh... No, over there. See that red dot one? Yeah. There you go. Now over here. Turn the trailer lights on. Just one click, there we go. Now let's go check them. So, oh, we got to turn our hazards on. So, we'll go around. Our, bl our, our blinkers are blinking. And if we come over here, Our top one, see? See the top one? Yeah, now let's keep going. Let's keep going, we gotta walk around the truck. Gotta make sure all our flashers are on, all our lights are on. See, look at that. We got lights on, look at that, there we go. <coughs> lights on on the trailer, over here, oh. Yeah, lights on on the truck. Trailer. Lights are blinking. Yeah. Everything's tied down. The flashy flashers are flashing. Huh? So is that it? Good to go, Bobo?
That's it, done. Pre-trip over. Okay, you're going. Okay. If only yeah. kids can learn, uh, do the pre-trip. Yeah. If only. Yes, off to Alberta. Maybe you guys get tired of me saying, uh, what a beautiful morning, what a beautiful day. Guess what? It is. Got the Massey Ferguson Yeti with some coffee. Go get an auger spout from co-op. It just smells like spring. Looks like spring. It must have froze last night. Dang it. <laughs> what do you expect? It's the... Is it the 8th of May? Something like that? I don't know. Let's start this thing. Yeah, it's like the 8th of May or whatever. Or May. Goodness. I haven't had my coffee yet. It's like the 8th of April? Whatever the day is, actually. It is the 8th. And, uh... Oh. It is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I love it. Spring is in the air. Love is in the air. Well, for some people, maybe. <laughs> I only got a Snapchat picture, but apparently we had a calf yesterday. First calf of the year. Only 10 days. Only 12 days early, so whatever. Walking around, healthy as can be. It's gonna be a good week, day, everything. Yeah. So we're gonna finally try this out. I'm gonna put that wheel back on. So why not? Got good hydraulics on this bad boy. Only thing is, 540. And thousand. So you go really redneck and you get a big thousand to 540. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's how you get the max horse torques for 540. Gong show. Oh, undoing it or undo it. <laughs> Oh, it works. Look at that. This is so cool. Now. Oh, what the? Kill the track hydraulics. There we go. What do we got? This one. Now, that's it. No, not that one. And it's stiff. Oh, actually. Lift that up. Slick. Oh my. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness, this thing's falling apart. Killed the hydraulics again. And this, these are stiff. My goodness, broke the handle off. Uh, don't need that, I guess. Look at that, it works. Oh, that's cool. This Televare actually isn't as low profile as our brand swing auger. So we can't get it underneath, and then we're in kind of a hole. So it's like, hey, this lifts up. So we'll just dump it out of here. 
just feed it out of the grain cart up into the bin. Why not? Find out that this auger leaks. There's a little hose here. Leaks, so we gotta keep lifting this auger up or else it'll cave the bin out. So, and we're cleaning. Since uh, all the trucks are full and the cart's full and gotta use Skitty Bob for the screenings. Is a gong show around here. Look at that. <laughs> kind of works. So either this is the pinola that we screened out last fall and we had the wrong screens in the quick clean so all the little peas and all the split peas and whatever other junk went in with the canola and since that's like probably 50 percent dockage and it's good dockage like we can feed that to animals it'd be a waste to sell that so we're screening it out. So there's lots of good stuff coming out of there. Lots of peas, some oats, I don't know where the oats came from. There is a little bit of canola coming over, but maybe 5%. And the canola going in the truck. It's not perfectly clean, but it's darn better might be like 5% dockage instead of 50% dockage. So it's going to be a mess when we take this to dump that in the cows or the pigs. Then we'll just have a pile building up on the road. So it's a mess. <laughs> oh, a dusty in there. Mole, mole! Look at all this action! There, look at that. No more mess. We clean now. Well, gotta clean this up, I guess, but for now, we're going. Now, we don't got anything or much coming out of there because we're not trying to do any scalping. Perfectly fine with this sample. 